Good morning, girls and boys. <laughs> this is Royal Ruby. Today I'm talking to you from my sticks and bricks because as you guys know, I'm getting ready for my son's wedding and I'm kind of like chilling at home now. I'm not going on any camping trips right now because of the wedding. It is next weekend, so I have a lot of stuff to do. But I wanted to give you guys a tour today of the loft project, which I talk about a lot in my videos, and I told you that was why I couldn't travel for a couple weeks, because I had contractors coming in and out of my house for like four weeks straight. So it really put a damper on my traveling plans. But I thought I'd do a video for you guys today, because I don't know how many of you live in a tiny house, but I do. I live in a tiny house in Bethany Beach, Delaware, and when I say tiny, it's it's pretty tiny. Now I did add one to the house since I moved in. I did only have, in this space here, I only had 800 square feet, um, which is a tiny house. And we lived in this space for, a, I guess, a year and a half. Um, and it was it was difficult, but we got through it. And then I added on this addition over here. Well, it's kind of messy, guys, because I didn't clean for this video, but I added on this addition, which has a master bedroom, a master bath, a laundry, and a sunroom. So now, and I have this cool little sun deck out here on this side, and then, of course, on the front, here's my kitchen, and then I have two bedrooms back here, and a bathroom, which was part of the original house the 800 square feet. And then back here on the front porch, of course, I have a nice little sitting area. I have a little fountain out here. I have a nice little sitting area out here, which is covered. And then out back, you guys have seen my patio. You can see I'm getting all ready. I have all my flowers. My crepe myrtle should soon be blooming. Those bushes right there flower with pink flowers. That's Navi, my neighbor's dog. So over here is where the gate is that the, um, the arbor is going to be. Put in these trees here for the wedding. Getting all ready for the wedding because we're having our rehearsal dinner here in my backyard the night before the wedding. And the wedding, of course, is going to be at a separate venue. Now this ladder goes against the wall so it's out right now but because it's on those those um brackets up there you can literally push it against the wall that it's not in the middle of the floor but for the video today i got it out so that i could go up the ladder and show you the loft so yeah this is the project guys that i've been working on and it has taken up a lot of my time and i haven't been able to travel and all i've been doing is getting ready for this wedding and now I'm getting the inside of the house painted. Um, this yellow is going to be called Greek Villa. It's gonna be a nice creamy white color. And then on this wall that goes into the sunroom, I'm gonna do the sea salt color, the same color that's in the sunroom. So I'm getting ready to have the interior painted. It was supposed to be done this week, but I don't know when the contractor's coming. So that's getting done hopefully this week. And um, yeah, then I'll have everything done except for the floor. I have to have that repainted. That's the last thing I have to have done. And then I'm starting my She Shed project. <laughs> I'm always doing something. I just like to stay busy. Um, and with that project, you know, I probably won't need any contractors. The only contractor I'll need for that is the electrical contractor to wire some electricity because I'm gonna do that all myself. Just need a bucket of paint and a paintbrush because I'm not doing any insulation in there. It's just gonna be a summer, a summer she shed. <clears throat> it's gonna be there for me to go out and read and write and spend time with the Lord and just have like a little prayer closet there. Now the loft has been great for prayer. I go up there all the time and pray. Um, but it's so close to my grandson's bedroom that I really don't feel comfortable praying up there because I like to pray loud. And out in the she shed, I'll be able to really go to town. <laughs> Nobody will hear me. So yeah, guys, that's what I've been working on. 
So stay tuned right after this video is the tour of the loft, okay? I'll talk to you soon. See you down the road. Hi everybody, it's Royal Ruby. I just wanted to show you my loft that I've been working on inside my sticks and bricks. This is the ladder that goes up to the loft and we're gonna climb up. And there's the hole. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty cool, right? Still got some painting. I should have used a powder coat on this bar here because this is like a library um, bar that the, the ladder can slide across on. But I didn't use the right paint on it. So anyway, I have a temporary white curtain up here until I get my plantation shutters that I ordered. But this is it. This is my little loft. Turn the light on for y'all. That's an air mattress. I purchased. And then I have these cool lights that I put in. They change colors. You can do different colors. They run the whole way across. I like that color. And you can see I have some pictures here of my kids, a fan. I have an AC unit that's not hooked up yet. And here there's a little, little decoration for people, a little candle and a mirror. Ukuleles here. And over here in this corner, I have a microwave and the little trash can, bowl for popcorn, a little mini fridge. And then this TV right here is going to be hanging up in this corner. It just needs to be put up there. And this cute little table is going to be for people to sit their luggage on when they get here. And this is a little poof that they can sit on and they can put their computer on the table and they can work on their little desktop, laptop. I have a fan in here until we get the AC unit back in the corner there. I have an AC unit which is getting installed this week. And then this little air mattress, it's pretty awesome. Um, it's a queen, it's very comfortable. And then I have one of those Betty, it's called a Betty on it. And it's really, really soft. So yeah, I have some storage back there in the side that I have a few things stuck back there. So yeah, I mean, it's not real big, but it accomplishes what I wanted, which was an extra sleeping area. And back here, behind this door, is the storage area. And it's also, you know, where my HVAC and everything is. This isn't finished back here. But you can see I got all this storage back here. They put flooring in here so I could store stuff. And then, I have a toilet. I have a Lavio dry flush toilet in this in this little section here. And these are pretty awesome. They just have this little um, cartridge thing that you can just pee or poop in and it has 15 flushes all together. And then if you pee and you use this stuff called pee powder, it'll last you four times before you have to flush it if you put the pee powder in every time you pee. So yeah, so when you're up here and you have to go to the bathroom, you just come through here to this little storage area and do your business. So then this is the, the view of the loft from the storage area. Pretty cool, huh? I just wanted you guys to see what I've been working on. So, you know, it doesn't add any square footage to my house because it is not the ceiling height height isn't like I can stand up here because I'm only five feet tall but if you were like five four you would hit your head and then of course this area here is slanted I put a beadboard up here so you definitely could not stand there so for that reason you can't act, add it as square footage but it's a cute little space and then look how cool it is looking down over though you know like from my loft it's a very cool 
And once I get those plantation shutters, whoever's sleeping up here will have total privacy. You know, like it'll be all blacked out. Right now I just have a curtain here until I get those shutters. They're not coming for another five weeks. But um, it's very quiet up here. It's very, it's very nice. And what's really cool about it at nighttime, you can see the skylight there. You can see the stars from the bed in the loft. So yeah, guys, now I'm gonna climb down. It's really easy. You just grab the railings, turn around, and you go down the ladder backwards. So yeah, it's my little loft. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour.